Welcome to another episode of the Lone Recruiter Podcast. I'm your host, Brett Clemenson, and if you're a recruiter out on your own or just lacking general guidance or mentorship, you've come to the right place. Our episodes are designed to give you the motivation, the advice, and the strategies you need to become the very best Lone Recruiter. So join us, grab a cup of coffee or water, uh, let's take your desk to another level. Now today, I want to give you one red hot tip to elevate yourselves in the eyes of your clients as a recruiter, right? We all know what we do is sales at the end of the day. We're either selling a CV or a candidate or a profile, or we're selling our services to clients, getting the brief, and then we're going to market and finding them people, right? So it's very sales oriented, and it's and it's very easy to fall into the trap of transactional relationships. What I want to help you with today is something that we've been doing here, which we thought, oh, I had a client basically say, can you come in and do a, a presentation at one of our um, annual conferences for all the leaders around uh, recruitment, attraction, and retention? She's okay. So I, I had to think about it and I thought, what would I want to see? Um, I don't want to go in there and be airy-fairy. I actually thought I want to go in there and be super practical, open their eyes up, and then let the discussions flow from there and let them see what I see. And so... We went down this route, and you, you might or might not be doing this at the moment, but um, we found this super practical, and I actually think it's fan, fantastic um, approach to um, getting in, in front of clients and basically just elevating what you do. Now, we, we all have the same tools at our disposal as a recruiter, but are we all using them the same way? Absolutely not. Just like when we have clients say to us, well, we have recruiter, why do we need you? and you ask them what their results are using LinkedIn Recruiter, and they're like, oh, it's not very good. We just know they're not using it correctly, right? We know that their messaging might not be clear. We know that they're probably not in it every single day. They're not setting it up the way we do. They just think they've got this magical tool that's probably cost them about $15,000 that's going to do all the recruiting for them. And we all know that you're only as good as your driver, right? Any tool, uh, any, any, any machinery is only as good as its operator, and LinkedIn's no different. And I think take that logic um, and apply it to what I'm about to show you now. Every recruiter has recruiter, but are we all using it the same way? Absolutely not. We know that. So what is it that we're doing that's elevating us in the eyes of our clients? They say that in sales, they say if you want to sell something, um, teach your client something they don't know. If you can teach them something they don't know or, or, or give them some advice that they hadn't seen, or give them some context that they hadn't thought about, they're going to instantly elevate you in their eyes uh, because you come across as an expert. When you're pushing CVs, you're pushing interviews, you're pushing offers, that's transactional. And yeah, it gets a job done, they might be happy, but they just see it as a transactional relationship. The moment you get into that room and go, have you thought about this? Did you know this? I know this and you don't. And they go, oh, wow. Like it's an instant elevation. So pull up LinkedIn. Let's do an exercise right now. If you're in, if you're watching this or if you're listening to this and you're in front of a computer or you're in your phone, I want you to open up LinkedIn right now. Just your normal one, not recruiter. And I want to show you what we're doing. So go and pick, go up to the search bar in, in LinkedIn and put in one of your good clients. Okay. So press enter. And what you're going to find is that the company page comes up. So I want you to click on their company page. And again, you've probably done this before, but I'm going to give you a little bit of how do we apply this. Um, when you click on their company page, th there's a little home page there. It says home, about, posts, jobs, people, and in insights. We're going to click on insights. We're going to scroll down. This is where it gives you your total employee count and it gives you a bit of information. There's a little line there that says median employee tenure and in a number. So the one I've got in front of me is 2.9 years. Out of context, I mean, that, that in itself is useful. Most companies will know what their turnover rate is. What I did in this conference is I actually took that number. I actually took their top 20 competitors and I did the same for all of those and I ranked them. I went, okay, so company at the top has you know six years, ten, uh, average tenure, all the way down to the bottom, which was about 1.3. Now, it was a super interesting exercise because out of context – you say to your client, your median employee turnover is 2.9 years. It's okay, but, you know, obviously we want to try and move that up. In context with the rest of their competitors, that's where it became quite valuable. This exercise takes 10 minutes to pull together, by the way. 
It's not a hard one. Um, they were smack bang in the middle, and I could sell. They were really quite shocked with that number. And the companies below them, I know that they were a little bit, you know, we don't think they're the best companies, but the ones above them were sort of where they're pushing and want to get to. So it was actually a really eye-opening exercise. It then opens up the conversations, well, how do we – how do we retain the talent, things like that? It's a whole other conversation, right? And we can do other episodes on that, and you've probably got things that you can talk about. Essentially, though, I talked about retention. I talked about employee surveys, do's and don'ts. Uh, we talked about you know what do candidates actually want in this market in 2023. You know, it's salary, it's flexibility. They are the two main things. You can talk about meaningful work. Um, you can talk about you know challenging projects. You can talk about culture. But at the end of the day, we all know, comes down to the dollars, it comes down to the flexibility. You haven't got the things that they want there. They're probably going to go, um, you know, for 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 the one that does. Um, we went into LinkedIn and, and how you can market, use, you know, activate your, your employees to to market yourselves on LinkedIn. I'm not an expert there, but I just turned a light on that and you could see their eyes opening. So the whole context and the whole discussion ends up being around how do we how do we get our candidates to stay longer? But if there's anything you get out of today, how do you want to elevate yourself in the eyes of your clients? It's a really simple one. Go into LinkedIn, work out what your client's median employee tenure is, uh, tenure is, rank that in context of their competitors, and go and have a chat with them about that. They're going to think, my God, that, that is such useful information. What are they doing that we're not? What can we do? You're going to start opening up that conversation and you're going to start to get woven into those conversations and guess who's going to get the work when the recruiting um, comes up? It's probably going to be you. So I hope that helps someone. If you've got any other ideas you want to add on to that, please reach out to me. I love hearing other people's ideas and, and, and wisdom on these things. You know, I hope this helps somebody. That's all we have time for you today. Uh, if you haven't already liked this video, uh, like it. If you haven't uh, already followed this page, follow it. If you haven't given us a five-star review, come on, give us a five-star review. I love it. I appreciate it. Um, as always, have an amazing day. May all your deals come true.